Edward Bernays. One of the giants in the history of 20th century PR in the United States was Edward Bernays. Many experts credit him with almost single-handedly creating the craft. Bernays borrowed heavily from the work of psychologists, including his uncle Sigmund Freud. For example, in order to sell ladies' cigarettes in 1929, he sent a group of young models to march in the New York City parade. He then told the press that a group of women's rights marchers would light torches of freedom. On his signal, the models lit Lucky Strike cigarettes in front of the eager photographers. The New York Times printed, Group of girls puff at cigarettes as a gesture of freedom. He didn't appeal to the intellect. He appealed to the emotion. The phrase, Torches of Freedom, had the added appeal of suggesting the Statue of Liberty, a torch-bearing woman of independence. He was the first to promote celebrities and, in turn, promoted the merchandise they consumed. He worked with the American president, Calvin Coolidge, who had an image problem of being dull. Bernays arranged for admired celebrities to visit him for a special breakfast at the White House. This was not telling or persuading people intellectually that he wasn't dull, just making the emotional association that he was interesting, as the president hung around with interesting friends. In Bernays' mind, advertising executives were merely paid to persuade people to accept an idea or commodity. Public relations, on the other hand, could influence the actions of leaders and groups in society. But he recognised the potential danger in his scheme, and in This Business of Propaganda, 1928, he wrote that a public relations council must never accept a retainer or assume a position which puts his duty to the groups he represents above his duty to society. How this ties in with his cigarettes campaign is another matter. It's interesting to note that he later regretted the campaign after his wife died of lung cancer.